Hey everybody, Dylan here from Elevated Agriculture, and in today's video, you're going to see how I germinated and planted my Blue Freezy F1 seeds. I crossed these beautiful blueberry female plants with pollen from a strong male Friesland plant to create my very first unique strain that I'll be calling Blue Freezy. Now that the plants are fully mature and the seeds are ready to be harvested, I'm cutting them down and leaving them to dry for a few weeks before removing all of the seeds. This video is brought to you in part by Mars Hydro. I'll be using their FC3000 and SP3000 lights, along with their 6-inch inline fan and carbon filter for this entire grow series. Now that the plants have dried out, I'll be carefully picking through each bud and collecting the Blue Freezy F1 seeds. The F1 in the name means first generation. I'll be storing these in a dark, airtight container in the fridge to keep them viable for as long as possible. On February 2nd, I decided to germinate 18 of the seeds. I placed them in this container of room temperature tap water for 48 hours and then dumped them out onto this paper towel. I folded the paper towel over the seeds and put it back in the container, then put the lid back on top. This retained the moisture so that the paper towel and seedlings wouldn't dry out super fast. After three days in the paper towel, the seeds are showing their tap roots and are ready to be planted. I'll be growing this crop with Stepwell Living Soil, and the first step is to condition the soil. I'll be adding their EM1 essential microbes to the water that I'll be conditioning the soil with to help inoculate the soil at the same time. Conditioning the soil is as easy as pouring in the water and mixing. This helps ensure that the soil has properly expanded from the bale and it will help the soil absorb water easier. I'm going to start these plants off in solo cups and to fill each one, I'm just taking a scoop of soil and tapping the cup lightly to pack the soil down. I'll use my pinky to create a small hole for the seed to go into and then gently place the seed in with the taproot facing down. I then gently backfilled each hole, added about a quarter inch of loose soil on top, and then sprayed each one with a few shots of water. After this, they were placed in a small Mars Hydro grow tent under the FC3000. I dimmed the light down to the minimum brightness and put it on a timer set to 18 hours of light and 16 hours of darkness. Alright folks, that's it for this video, but I do plan on releasing a new video every other week for this series, so if you enjoyed the content and want to see how these plants turn out, please let me know by commenting below, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.